Hi there, it's Dr. D again, and I'm standing inside the manufacturing site in Holland, Michigan of Evolca Water Technologies, where we make your filter presses. Now, I get a lot of questions from customers, and would-be customers like yourself, perhaps. What happens inside the press? We just fill it, and some kind of magic happens inside there. Well, here's what I want to talk to you about today. What happens inside this chamber, in between these plates? I got a good explanation for you, so stick around. What you're seeing is a representation of a slurry that is processed through a filter press. Typical slurries are created in a range of industries and applications, from mining concentrates, metal finishing, paint waste, desulfurization, and the food and beverage industry. All of these slurries must be filtered and disposed of. Here, the slurry is being transferred to a vessel used in Evoqua's lab filter press. This setup represents a full-scale filter press of any size. The clear part represents the chamber between the filter plates. What you see there is what happens inside a filter press. Normally, a pump is used to feed a full-scale filter press. However, in this case, we are using compressed air to feed the slurry. The liquid can pass through the filter cloth, but the solids cannot, so they begin to build up between the plates. The solids are retained on the filter cloth while the clear filtrate is discharged. The buildup of solids on the cloth creates an ever-increasing resistance to flow. As the filter cake forms, the back pressure increases due to this resistance. The formation of the cake here has been sped up to accelerate the process. Actual filtration times will range from minutes to hours and is dependent upon your application and the characteristics of the solids in the slurry. Here, a cake air blow is being shown where compressed air is introduced behind the filter cloth. The compressed air pushes out the free water trapped between the particles in the filter cake. The air also pushes any filtrate left in the discharge eyes and piping of the filter press. The duration of a typical cake air blow can be from five to 15 minutes. The filter cake can also be washed in the filter press with water or other appropriate liquids to remove unwanted contaminants such as salts before the cake is discharged. This is typically performed when the filter cake itself is a product. The wash travels through the filter cake, displacing the liquid that contains the contaminants, which then discharges out of the other side of the filter cake. What you see here is the original slurry on the left, the filter cake in the middle, and the clean filtrate on the right. The use of a filter press provides an efficient method to separate solids from a liquid. No one is better at this process than Evoqua Water Technologies.